record. Okay, now, hi everyone. Welcome back to the class. We're starting, let's see, Lucas, Ella, Brianna, Justin, and Philip. And hi, Ellie. Um, guys, what we had to do for today was actually something pretty interesting. And I'm curious, have you had, have you had any ideas for creating your own character? We were talking last time about creating our own characters for the game. That could have been anything, the rocket, it could be like an enemy, or it could even be Kirby. Any thoughts, any ideas? If not, we can go and we can pull off um, Luca's uh, rocket ship from last time. How would that be? Okay, Ella says okay. I can't really hear you, so feel free to turn on your volume. Um, I before we start, do you guys have any questions? Have you guys, you know, did you guys go over the homework? You know, you say, oh well, I actually think some of the stuff that we do is a little bit difficult, so maybe I need a little bit of a review. Anything that you guys suggest that we should be doing today, besides looking at our character? No. Okay, Philip, any ideas? Justin, did you have a chance to work on your character at all or no? Do you think that would be an interesting uh, challenge? Okay, am I not hearing you or you're on mute? I think you're on mute. It's me, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Welcome back to the class. Super. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to be sharing just because we need to move on. But I would love to hear you guys. Okay. Thank you. All right. Here's our class. And we have assigned a bunch of assignments for, for today and last time. So I hope you guys had a little bit of time to go over. We're going to navigate to projects. And... Here I see David's spinoff. And then I also see Carolina and I also know Ella created something. Ella, this is pretty cool. What is this? Is this a Martian or something? Okay. Well, let's see. So that was the little, uh, let's show me where. Okay. So we moved a bunch of things. Good. Okay. Well, I kind of like Ella's Martian. Do you guys want to make Ella's Martian fancy where we can actually move it left and right? Do you know how to do that? Brianna, would you know how to do that? Hi, Brianna. Would you know how to do that? Um, yeah, you can just use variables to like move it left and right. We use variables. And let's see, Brianna actually, I'm sorry, um, Ella actually has a bunch of variables over here. So if we change, oh wow. Oh, this is actually working out quite well. Oh, this is a planet. This is not a Martian. It's a planet. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> See, this is actually quite interesting. Okay, so who wants to take Ella's planet and put it in uh, Lucas's game? Do you guys want to put Ella's planet into Lucas's game? Let's yeah. do that. That would be fun. Okay. Really cool. Well, to begin with, so one thing we're going to do is, see this var here, this is X and this is var Y. Well, in that, when we move it into the main game, we're gonna have a lot of X's and a lot of Y's. Right now we only have one. Instead, I would like to make a suggestion. I would like to make a suggestion. Let's call that sure planet X it. and planet Y. Or maybe you should name it a more specific planet, a pink planet, because you might make multiple planets. Okay. Well, like maybe thought, you could do so. You you guys are gonna make more planets, so you might want to do pink PX and like green PX for. Let's just leave it at planet X and planet. Y. I remember. Yeah, I remember when we would. I remember when we had to rename all our variables, and it wasn't very fun. Yeah. yeah. So you guys should start thinking ahead a little bit with the variable names. Hey, I see that you try to use a curved X. I love that. Thank you very much for a wonderful exercise. Ella, you did great over here. Nice job. So, mm -hmm. Stefan says, nice job. Okay, let's see. We're gonna use this for planet Y. 
So I'm replacing all the y's with planet y and all the x's with planet x. Planet y. Ooh, and we use rotation, planet x, planet y, planet x, planet y. Super duper awesome. So that was the first. That was the first change because we're in order to move it to the other game, we're going to need we're going to need a new variable name. Because otherwise it's gonna clash with the variable's name in that game. Hi, Luca. Uh hi Mihai. Uh Mihai, is it just me or like there's only 10 participants? Um it's I guess you, you, Stella told me she's not joining today. I'm not sure where Thea is. Um, and Stefan and Matei both said that since they were there yesterday working, you know, to uh, basically waiting for you, they said they were not going to join today because they have the advanced class starting in about an hour. Yeah. So, um, yes. And Luca uh, went ice skating. And uh, you said there was a way, like, to... Uh, detect if a variable is within uh, the yes, radius of an ellipse. I know, I know. We're going to do that together, okay? Let's see what we have here, because um, I would love to see these curve vertices. X is not defined. Oh, we need this, planet X over here. Ooh, I'm taking me a while. Oh. Planet X, Planet X. Let's see, let's see what this curve vertex used to do. Ella, you, you did a little bit of work at home. I like that. This is awesome, guys. So I'm going to help you put two pieces of the puzzle together. So you can work in your own account, create your own in your own spinoff. Ooh, and we actually have a little shape over there. That's awesome. Looks like a mountain. Looks like a crater or something, right? Okay. Ooh, wee wee. <laughs> All right, let's see. What about this one? Um, what do you think, Nelly? This is maybe a little bit too low. Okay. Well, I don't mind it. I'm just trying to see which one is this point right here. Maybe the 78. There you go. It was a little bit too far outside. And then let's pull this like this. 67, and then 60, there it is. Do you guys think this would fit for a planet? That's a, it's a big creator. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take, we're not gonna need the background anymore because we already have a background on the other side. But we're gonna take all this other code. I'm gonna take it, and now, oops, the planet is gone. Wait a minute. Let's do this. Let's put it into a function. Okay? Everybody agrees? Let's put it into a function. Var uh, draw planet equals. This is how we create our own function, guys. Okay, this is an empty function. And we just named it. We can name it any way we want. Well, we named it draw planet because that's actually what it's going to do. So now I put all that code into the function. Sweet. Everything that we had before is still here, only now it's inside the function. So let's see what can we do now. Well, 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 this planet X actually, I'm sorry to say, I forgot to put it. It should also be a variable in here. Good. What are we telling the planet? Draw planet where? At this X and at this Y. Now, is this planet X the same as this? Actually, it's not. That's just where the future planet will be drawn. Remember, these are now parameter names. We call them parameters. So here's what we can do. We have our draw planet function. And since we're done with it, now we can say, hey, draw me a planet at 100, 100. Bam. Draw me another planet at 300, 300. Bam. Draw me another planet at 200, 200. Wait a minute. 
I forgot the tea. I was hungry. Hmm. Sweet. So we can now that we put it into a function, remember functions are really like stamps. You can call them over and over and over and again. Let's see. So what did I do again? I took all that code, the magic code that Ella wrote. I put it inside this function. How did we create the function? And you guys might want to write this down. We create a function by saying var, we give it a name, any name you want. You can call it Ella. You want to call it Ella for fun? Let's call it Ella. Oh no, not Ella. Let's call it, let's call it var um, Saturn. Let's say that pattern is called Saturn. So we put all that code inside. Well, wait a minute. Can somebody tell me why O knows is complaining right now? Uh, it says it in there, so they never really drop planet isn't defined because you changed the function name. Right, the function name is called Saturn right now. So now so I gotta change it. Now exactly. I gotta change what. So used what we to be. call to draw planet, it's like the computer's like, wait a minute, you never told me what drop planet is. So what do we need to do to fix it? We're gonna have to rename these with a new function name, Saturn. And can can everybody see? Here's something that is magic that I know we talked about last time, but we haven't really, I'm pretty sure it was probably a little bit complicated for you and you may not remember. When we call this function Saturn, we pass it two values. What do those values mean? Well, we're going to call the function and the first value goes, remember Saturn is Saturn. So there's two parameters to this, planet X and planet Y. So the first parameter is gonna to go to planet X. The second parameter is gonna to go to planet Y. Okay, pause here so you guys can ask your questions. Hi, Damien. Hi, Thea. I made a character. Welcome everyone, you're a little late. Uh, Luca was asking, wait a minute, what's going on? Why do we only have 10 kids? Oh, you don't want to be late. Hi, Danny. Hello. Oh, and I draw my character, if you want to see it. We will. Not only that, today we're going to take your characters and we're going to move them inside of our game. Have you thought of a name for our game yet? Does anybody have a great, have a great cool name for our game? Galaxy Battle. <laughs> Opposite of Star Wars. Space Exterminator. Space Exterminator. All right. Well, so I'm going to take Ella's function. Ella, thank you very much for creating our planet. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open up my LP May 2021 account. Remember, you can work in your own account or you can log in under LP May 2021, which is a shared account. And that allows you to see everybody else's work. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to share my other screen right now. Share screen. And on this other screen, I'm actually logged in, as you can see, with the other account, LP May 2021. You will have to log in. Does somebody remember the password? Can you repeat the password, please? A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna go to profile. Under this profile, we're going to find a green planet and a high spinoff of game, blah, 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 blah. Let's see view all. I have David spinoff of game and Carolina, and then Lucas. Okay, well, I say we start with Lucas spinoff. And here's where I'm going to do this is magic now. Does everybody know what copy paste is? Copy paste allows me to take a bunch of code from one command, from one uh, game, and move it into the other one. 
lo and behold, our Saturn planet is now in Luca Chiklan spin-off of game V1. So what do I need to do to draw that planet? Well, the function exists. And he has draw rocket. Luca, I'm not gonna mess up with your game, don't worry. But here's what we can do. You have a lot of spaces here, buddy. Here's what I'm gonna do. Saturn of 100, 100, boom, woo! <laughs> All right, well, that Saturn looks a little bit like our pink, um, what is that, ellipse, right? But Mihai? Yes? You know what you could do? You could, uh, when uh, you, did, uh, you create the function, you should uh, have height and uh, width. So you can type uh, the height and width of the planet so you can mm -hmm. change it and then put it as a background if you drive behind the others. Yeah, I agree. I fully, fully agree. And we will learn that very soon. So who likes, uh, oh wow, check this out. We already have a game, guys. Congratulations, Luca. Thanks. I love this. Well, you will not be able to destroy planet Saturn because it's a planet. But what I would like to do, I would like to be able to go up if I wanted to. What do you say? Should we be able to do that? But Mihai, I was thinking about that. But the thing is, because eventually I'm going to make the enemy shoot bullets at you. But if you would go up, it's practically committing suicide because you would just go in the bullets. Um, yeah, we're going to deal with that by making the, um, by making the bullets move faster than the, than the rocket. Yeah. Okay. So who else has a character? I heard somebody said, I have a character. I have a character. Keep in mind, Luca, all you need to do is just comment the Saturn command. Me. I have the character. So we're going to be... Okay, uh, is it in your account or is it in the main and the shared account? Main. Okay, I'm going to look. Is it okay if I remove these uh, empty spaces? That's kind of a. Yeah, it's okay, but can you save so I can work on it? It is saved, yeah. I'm saving here. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to be now checking. Hi. Yes. Um. I missed a lot of the homework assignments mm -hmm. because um, uh, Khan Academy wasn't working. Um, when I tried to join in, um, it just, the tab closed instantly. So mm. I could maybe, maybe you can use a different computer, I suggest that. And don't worry, just, just, uh, just remember that you should probably go back and do the homework that you have not had a chance to do. So, all right, let's see Damien's. Damien, Damien. What's your... David. David. Oh, David, is that your... Yeah. Oh, yes, David, I'm sorry. Um, is Damien here too? Hi, Damien. Did you do your... Uh, did you do your... Did, did you create a character of your own as well or no? I also added variables. Super. All right, so we actually, we like this. Now we see that David is actually a little bit more advanced in his development of a rocket. How is he a little bit more advanced? He's actually got the draw rocket function. So he already has a function. Now, let me tell you something, David. Let me point to something that I noticed here. These two are the parameters that you tell the function, draw a rocket here at some position X and Y. If we overwrite them here, the rocket can never move, okay? So what I'm going to do is, let's see, where is this draw rocket function called? To do that, I'm gonna copy, then Control F basically does a search, and this takes me to, oh, so you say draw rocket at rx, ry. Let's see, somewhere we probably define rx, ry. There it is, right here. Oh, guess what? If I change these, the rocket doesn't move. The rocket doesn't move. Why? 
because we overwrite our, our we overwrite that means they get an initial value first and then we, we give them another value. So even though we change the first value, the second value is fixed. So I'm going to delete these two lines and see what happens. Bam. Oopsie daisy. Hmm. I see. It's a little strange. Let me play with this a little bit. Yeah, that's what I tried to do, but then that happened Tell and I why. didn't know what to do. So your settings, ha you have a 400 by 400 uh, canvas, okay? Sheet, it's 400 pixels, okay? When you draw your rocket, check this out. Where are you drawing it? At 344, which is kind of like this line, that's the X. And at 569, well, guess what? You only have 400, so 569 would be somewhere below, right here, okay? So let's reduce this 569 slowly. As I reduce this, your rocket is actually slight, slowly moving up. So you're gonna see it popping up right around here because, uh, because you're off screen right now. So let's do this. <laughs> Got it? Any questions? Oh, and I also forgot to delete the rest of the code. That's okay. Like the other, you know, the smaller rocket. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Do you, ooh, we also have movement, both up and down and sideways. The only reason is because I didn't delete anything. All right. Well, today we're going to do something magic, guys. Because you coded all of this, Okay, in our game, which today we're going to give it a name, and you guys will tell me, you guys will tell me the, the name of the game, but what I will do is I will help you take this, we're going to make this an enemy, is that okay? And we That's will- That's what I want it to be. Yeah, we will have our first moving enemy automatically move an enemy that moves on the screen. What do you guys think That's about what that? I'm working right now. Really? They All just right. have to create AI. Okay, they well, there's one, thing, one better. there's one thing that I need to test, um, David. Remember, I, I made a rule that if I draw an ellipse at the point where the rocket should be, the rocket should be inside the ellipse. So let's see. Right, this is what I'm going to do. So, oops, I'm sorry. So, this is our X, this is where the rocket is. I'm going to put these variables right at the top. This is, that would be proper procedure, okay? okay. So we're gonna put the variables right at the top so we can easily see them, okay? Is everyone following? Is this fun or no? You guys think it's like, eh, so-and-so? Guys, you're gonna love it. When you're gonna see all those enemies moving around and you shooting them, this is starting to take shape. This is a great, this is gonna be a great game. I'm gonna freaking love it. I'm gonna play it all weekend. Me, hi. Yes. Um, how, do, how do you like, um, how do you make the pixels to make the spaceship? How do you like make the pixels, the small pixels? one by one. So see all these rects? Check this uh -huh. out. Every one of these rects is a little piece of his rocket. See, so when he says rect over here, let me move it. I'm gonna, sh this is another one, okay? I thought you meant, um, so you put one tiny little cube ne next to each other. I mean, well, for the that, shading, like the shading right here, like the little stuff I did here for the different colored ones. Yes, I had to do that. But for the big clump, like the actual rocket ship, I didn't. Oh, okay. As you can see that the shading is one little square. So guys, just to recap, today's goal. What are we doing today? Why are we here today? Everybody worked over the weekend on a bunch of characters, on planets and whatnot, and today, we're putting them all together. Not only that, because David was so advanced that he did his own function and he made it move 
now we can make our first moving character. And, and we're going to learn something cool today. We're going to learn about frames because when the computer starts, it starts at frame zero and then it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It just keeps going 60 oh. times per second. <laughs> I remember when we did that on accident. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so what do we want to do? There's one thing that we want to do. So we're going to draw a rocket and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do ellipse uh, RX. I'm just going to test to make sure that you put it in the right place. Uh, 100, 100. Okay, so I'm going to say, hmm, I'm going to put the ellipse behind the rocket. So your rocket is a little bit, a little bit low. Um, it's because I forgot to delete everything that you drew before. I did. I just did a spin off, then I drew the alien ship, and I forgot to delete anything else. Okay, so let me let me explain. The reason we need the rocket to be centered inside the ellipse is because eventually we're going to need to detect when to, an enemy and your rocket clash, or when the bullet is actually hitting your enemy. In order to do that, it's easier if the enemy is centered inside of the ellipse, okay? So I'm going to do something quick to fix this, okay? Y equals Y minus 50. Okay, 40, 30. Ha, 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 fix it. See, so I centered it. I love it. Do you love it too? I do. Super yeah, duper, guys. You could also delete the little ship that I didn't delete. The what? Oh, the little ship. Oh, right the little there, ship. Like, oh, you want me to delete delete the little ship? Okay. Um, yeah, because I didn't do anything. Do you uh, think where, it'd be cool if you put it on the front so that those are kind of like the shooters? Dude, yeah. Where idea. where is the little ship, by the way? Is it this? Oh, I think it's, it's this like guy. the first. No, the first. I did anything above the first um, comment, above the comments. How about this? Do you want it this way? Do you want it to have its own tip? Change it green. Uh, change it to that the exact be, that, that kind of looks like a boss. Yeah, but change it to green. See how it looks like. Yeah. Cool? Yeah, that kind of looks like a boss level. Yeah. I think we I think we should make it, it a boss level, like how it looks like. Yeah. What's a boss level? Th this looks like a ship that would be for the boss level. Okay. Um, so one thing we can tell is we can say, let me show you something cool, okay? So we've played with X and Y as parameters, okay? Today, we're going to learn something new. Uh, should I get you there? I think we're not going to be able to finish up our what character. I wanted to teach them about Boolean variables. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Nihai? Yes. Oh, where are these? Would it be possible for you to need to shoot two times your enemy and then it would die? Yes, so, like, there absolutely. Be bigger enemies. Yes, but we need and to And you would have to, to shoot count. them twice. That means we need to count how many times the enemy got hit. Yeah. Which is something we're going to learn a little bit later. Guys, it's March already. We have two months. We need to finish this game. Well, let's let's move. Class, like All right, let's see. So we have Rocket X, Rocket Y, Y speed, X speed. Okay, so I'm going to take your draw rocket. Thank you very much. You can keep it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal it. Wait, I'm not gonna steal it, okay? So, Boom, boom, boom. And actually, I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to need, hmm. So we said this is an enemy, right? I'm going to yeah, call this enemy. A boss enemy. Is it, are you okay if I call this enemy speed instead of X speed? Because. Yeah, sure. It's enemy X speed. And then enemy Y. Hmm. What was that? Was that Y speed? Okay. We always put Y below the X. So it's the Y should have been below. So I'm going to call it enemy 
x speed and enemy y speed and you'll see why this is important guys okay so this is gonna be enemy y speed enemy y speed enemy x speed enemy x speed please bear with me this is gonna be fun this is going to be fun x speed okay enemy x speed enemy y speed okay super duper awesome um this is every time it's on every update rx well this rx should probably be enemy x what do you guys say enemy yeah. x. how about we call it we're gonna have a bunch of enemies so how about we we give it a not and we give it a better even a, an even better name we're gonna call it um uh, david's enemy enemy x okay david's enemy x or we could use it as boss enemy x because it's going to be a boss level like level 100 maybe like the all right boss enemy level. x boss enemy y okay and we're probably going to need then boss enemy speed boss enemy speed boss enemy y speed um boss enemy why do we need to make these boss enemy speed boss because we're gonna have a lot of enemies guys we're gonna move with different speeds they're going to be we're gonna make a lot of changes so this is boss okay i think a boss would be like slow but have like a bunch of health probably we're gonna have to do like a hundred hits or something because it's gonna be a boss yeah and we could have like a bar on top seeing how much health it has left boss enemy x boss enemy y we're going to delete the ellipse because we don't need it anymore enemy x speed oh wait the i just thought of this enemy. i need a death animation like a we will die we will do that guaranteed all right i save this so now you got your boss enemy and when we say instead of saying draw rocket we're going to say draw boss enemy okay deal yeah. So instead of draw rocket, we're gonna call it draw boss enemy. Super duper awesome. Okay, everybody, we're going to take everything here, copy, and we go back to LP May 2021. I'm going to put everything in your game for now on, Luca, and then we will create that game and say, this is version one. Version one is already a playing version. Let's see. Oh, Ellie, could you please look into uh, a simple translation that rotates it by 180? Just give me the, I might need to, you might need to translate yeah. negative X, negative Y, translate back to X, Y. Okay, so I just need, I need, need a quick solution for that. Um, and we'll explain. We technically, guys, we need to flip your enemy over. Right, because it needs to be pointing down. It's an enemy, not a rocket. Okay. Actually, so hi. Yes. You could call it V two because V one mm -hmm. they already exists, and V this is pretty advanced, so I consider it advanced. V two, it is, guys. Come on, come up with a name. Me <clears throat> hi. Type them in the chat. Anybody who's got, I see. I don't a have a name, but do you know why I didn't flip my enemy? Because it's a B, so it's gonna shoot like um, it starts or whatever. Mm hmm. Okay, guys, so here's what we're going to do. We have var Saturn, and now I copy pasted. Draw boss enemy. Sweet. Let's see what we can do here. We have draw enemy, draw boss enemy. We're going to come down here. Hang on. So this is. Before you change anything, you might want to reload the page because there's changes. Uh, this was reloaded just now, but I will, if you want me to. Does it still compile the main? Oh, wow. Your enemy moves too. Oh, okay. Oh, <gasps> okay. I'm going to have to hang on. What happened? Well, um, I lost my copy paste. I lost my copy basically. <laughs> 
So I need to go back to, I need to go back to David's and take everything. And I'm going to show you a trick, guys. David, nice job, buddy. This was awesome today. Everyone, yeah. round of applause for David. He did amazing. So did Luca. Together, we have a game. Woo! And um, what level should we put the boss level at? Uh, I think there should be two boss levels, and then we're going to get to the planets or something like that. Guys, we're right now, we're not going to be worried about that. We're going to be worried only about drawing them and only about making them move. move, right? So let's do a draw boss enemy. We're going to put inside of the draw function. Let me see the draw function. Your draw function is a little bit uh, improperly sort of... Um, I'm going to mark it up like this so I can see it. It should always be at the bottom, by the way. So the draw function is the last thing that we should see, so it's easy to find. We need a, an easy way to find it. We've done yes, a lot of work. Um, okay, let's see. So we have Saturn, and then check this out. Boom, draw boss enemy at, on an, at uh, boss enemy X, boss enemy Y. Bam, woo! I really, I'm gonna need that. Uh, I'm gonna. I promised you this was going to move, right? I promised you this was going to move, correct? Yes. Here is. Here is my trick for getting the boss enemy to move. Now, guys, this is magic. This is super duper awesome magic, and I want you to remember what I'm doing right now. Because. What we're going to learn today, um, hmm. I don't know what this does, um, Luca. You have two functions. Okay, that's probably but at the very bottom. Is all is, is all uh, nonsense? It can, it's dead code. Yeah, it's, it's just I. I it's code that I that I'm going to okay. use on the future. But okay. like, it's not ready to be put in use. It's not so ready just for kind production. of like Thank store you, it down there. Thank you, I just didn't know what to do with it. Okay, also, if you're inside of an if statement, you're supposed to tab these thing in, okay? Just always, always keep that in mind. Well, I'm gonna help you um, uh, write beautiful code as well as, so here's what happens. We have keep pressed, but it's defined twice, which means, so see, let's see this, control C, control F. One time it was designed by Luca and the other one was designed or written by me and copied by David. So what we want right now is we want to say var boss change direction and what this does is we're going to want the enemy. We want, we, we want our enemy. This is a function now, and we call it every time we want. So we're not going to do it on key pressed anymore. We're just going to say boss change direction. Okay, so it gets called every time. Why is the boss not changing direction? Well, because... You have to press the keys. Right, so let's see boss change direction. Right now, boss change direction is still driven by keys, okay? And I don't want that. When do we want the boss to change direction? Hmm. Automatically, AI. Exactly. We want the boss to change direction randomly on its own. Now, this is tricky. Has anybody heard about the random function before? Yeah, you do example like random, uh, and mm -hmm. then you open your parenthesis, say you're high, and mm -hmm. then you could, uh, 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 you could uh, create a, a variable example, I don't know, var um, right. enemy pos uh, boss position equals random one, uh, uh, six, like mm -hmm. uh, virgula, I forgot to say in, We'll, 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 I'll show it to them. Luca, let me, let, me, let me show it to them because we're running against time, okay? And I think everybody wants to see this enemy move. So here's what we're gonna need to do. First of all, we need to 
tell the computer how often we want the, the, the enemy to change direction. And I'm gonna say, okay, well, keep in mind that this thing change, this thing redraws 60 times per second. So I'm gonna say var boss change direction. We wanna change every second. Every second, that means 60. 60 times per second is how often this thing draws. And we talked about this before, right? Oh, what did I do? No. I made it not compile somehow, or my computer died. Oh no, boss change direction is not a function. Boss, var boss change direction. Isn't the ship that like the players kind of big? We will take care of that. And we will teach you how to do that, how to automatically make something bigger or smaller. We haven't gotten to that point yet though, okay? We'll definitely take you, we'll definitely uh, teach you how to do that though. I'm gonna save and reload. I don't know what's happening here, but there's definitely something weird. Let us see. Okay, EMV, boss change direction is not a function. I'm guessing I put that somewhere. equals function of x and y. I'm trying to figure out what I broke here. Okay, so this works, fine, fine. Var, boss change direction equals function. Okay, good. Oh, I know. I named my variable and my function with the same name. Oh, that was not a good idea. <laughs> okay, so boss change direction interval is every 60 seconds. Good, that was my problem, good. And here's what we're gonna do. In order to know how often we change, and this is again, this is magic. We're gonna say var frame equals zero. Initially, we start, frame is how many frames we've drawn so far, zero frames. Every update, we're gonna increase that by one. Nothing, nothing fancy so far. We create a variable and we increase it every time by one. Mihai. Yes. Instead of doing that, why don't you just do frame plus equals one? That's the same thing. Frame. Yeah, but it's kind of sure to type. It is the same exact thing. Thank you very much. We've actually learned about this. Gee, why didn't I think about it, guys? Okay, so a variable and we increment it by one every time. Here's what we, what we say then. And again, bear with me with this. To verify if a number is divisible by another number, we say this. If frame percent, does anybody take notes? We're verifying if, in fact, I'm gonna delete this. I'm just gonna make it simple for you. We're gonna say if frame percent 60 equals equals zero, right, let's do it over here, It'd be easier. If frame, frame times uh, percent 60 is zero, then we're gonna tell the boss to change its, its direction. What does this do? Every second, the boss will change direction. Equals, equals, equals zero. Okay, magic guys, we'll teach you this next time. But I want to see that, that boss being drawn. <clears throat> Where's my boss by the way? Oh, the boss enemy should be called every time. What we need to do is we need to change direction every 60 seconds. Wait for it, wait for it. I wanna leave you with something magic. Ellie, how do I do a variable between negative one and one? 
times equals negative one. Give it an initial value of one and multiply it by. Yeah, but I want to do it randomly. Oh, then random parentheses negative one comma one. Okay. Boss y enemy speed equals random uh, times equals random negative one comma one. There it is. Thank you, Ellie. Uh, you're going to need to remove the space between the Thank times you. and equals. All right, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Why am I not moving? It doesn't have an initial value. It's, it's, it starts off at zero. Hmm. Then how about we do plus equals? No, 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 no. Just, just change it to one, one or something. Okay. Or you can make it instead times equals, you can make it equals. Uh, that'll work. Oh yeah. Is this, is this location being updated each, uh, each draw call? We will go in a second. I just want to, I just want to show them how we're going to do this. So box enemy speed equals random. Okay. And then we need to, when we draw the enemy, we need to say, uh, draw boss enemy. Okay. In here in draw boss enemy. Oh, it's, it, it's being drawn at boss, boss enemy X, boss enemy Y, but boss enemy X isn't being updated with mm -hmm. boss enemy X speed. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So. This needs to get updated by the speed. With this, yeah, I'm trying to find boss enemy x speed. Oh, lowercase f. Mm -hmm. and, boss uh, enemy x equals boss enemy x plus. Oh, there it is. All right, let's restart. Looks like we have a hand raised. Check this out. Maybe that's a little bit too fast. And of course, this will be the boss. So this, this will be the only one that can go anywhere at once. Other smaller droids will only be able to go in a line like only in its certain x-axis, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of want, let me, so when we change this enemy speed, let's change. Hi. Yes. Uh, about what I think it was David Linka Plinka what said, I'm going to do like um, something automated, like uh, for the bees to go in a position, like they move into a position, mm -hmm. then, then like uh, they stay there for a few seconds, then they all move at the same time to go into a different like mm -hmm. formation. Yeah. So now your enemy moves automatically. Save, restart. Ooh, it's coming to us. Ah, you're going to die. All right, we kind of have a game, guys. Well, this is amazing progress. Uh, I'm going to spin no. it off. How do I spin it off? Oh, spin off. I'm go what's, the, what's the game name? The spin off. What's the game name, guys? Game. Space, uh, space, space Exterminators. Space Exterminators. Is that good? Ella, Andrew, Adrian, Robert, Dan, what do you guys think? 
or um, ship shooter. I'm okay with anything as long as it's not Galaga or Space Invaders. Well, I mean, you can't okay. really say that because it's not really original. Space shoot shoot. Space shooters. All right. Well, I think space shooters would be best. Space shooters, yes. Space shooters, it is, guys. All right. Well, why not intergala intergalactic warriors or something? Okay, space vote. Intergalactic warriors is my. Oh, I like that one more. Okay, intergalactic warriors. That's a long name. Yeah, but I think it should be like a mix, like inter intergalactic shooters or. Let's call it. Intergalactic shooters, or like, or like space warriors, defenders. shooters, space warriors. All right, from now on, this will be known as ISV2, intergalactic shooters V2. All right, Kirby's Adventure, super duper awesome, guys! Amazing class, great progress. Give yourself a, a big round of applause. You guys have made. Tremendous progress since we started, haven't we? Together, everyone putting a little bit of effort. We're showing team, guys, teamwork. This is what it's all about. And I'm really, really, really proud of everyone who was here today. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, make sure you design your own characters. We'd love to see them in. You now know what the game is all about. Draw guns, draw planets, draw enemies. We're gonna turn them around, make them bigger, make them smaller, make them explode. Who wants to draw explosions? Super duper awesome. Okay, loved it. We had a great time, thank you very much. We're going on to six o'clock, so we're running a little bit late, but um, I think we've, uh, we've proved that we can make great progress together. Um, whenever I join it, can I share my screen a bit? next time okay okay thanks guys see you next week bye bye